This video shows you how to install Partmaster when you've downloaded the zip file. So I've already downloaded the zip file into my download folder and I've created a folder called Partmaster and that's where the zip file lives. So to unzip the file and to install the software, move the cursor over the item and right click and from the menu choose Extract All. This will give you a subfolder where the extracted files will be uh, put. Um, this button here just shows me that when the extract is completed the files will be shown to me. So that uh, is now extracting the files. So that's the folder that they've been put in. If I double click that folder and run setup. This uh, is the um, user account control asking me if I want to make changes to the PC by installing the software and I say yes. So this is the splash screen so all we need to do here is just click install Partmaster. And run. So as far as this is concerned, I just need to accept the license agreement, click next, next again, and the files will always be stored onto the C drive in the program files folder. Uh, this uh, box here uh, always select the Partmaster new user. This uh, means that the toolbars will all have large icons and the help messages um, uh, shown. So this is the best way to proceed. So we'll wait so that you can see the entire install process all the way through. It takes a few minutes. I'm running on Windows 8 here, but you could always be running on Windows 7 as well. Please note that the software is not guaranteed to run under XP. It may or it may not, depending on your hardware. Okay, so this is telling me when the license was first installed and I'll have a temporary license and this one will expire on February the 20th. This will give me time to evaluate the software and to apply for a license if I purchase the software. If you want to look at the readme file you can do so now but uh, it just tells us information uh, about the software. You can read that at a later date. So that's installed the Partmaster software. It's now going to install the Part Organizer software which is a database application for keeping control of your programs and your drawings if you need to use it. But it's an optional uh, uh, piece of software which you don't need to run unless you need to. Okay so that's uh, installed that. The next one is the PM3D module which is the module we use to import IGES and step files. So again just accept all the options there. 
and the last thing is the machine tool simulator Okay, so that's how to uh, install the software. Uh, just a quick recap. The file that's downloaded is a zip file. I'll just exit the setup and run through that one again. So to install, we right click on there and say extract all. It creates a folder where the extracted files are placed and then in that folder you run the setup.exe and that installs the different modules that go to make up the part master suite okay that's it